Hey guys, James here with MTech Digital. Gonna show you something super simple today in WordPress and that is simply editing or publishing a page. So today I'm gonna show you how to find a page. I'm gonna show you how to edit a page. And I'm also gonna show you how to publish a page or save it as a draft or how to preview it before it goes live. Simple stuff, let's go inside. To begin, as we log into WordPress, I'm gonna take you to the side menu here where we're gonna look at the pages tab. If I click on that, it's gonna take me to a list of all the existing pages. And I've been working on some drafts and some demo pages. Today, I'm just gonna create a new page. So you can see on the side menu, I have the option of adding a new page, or I could click here to add a new page. If by chance I did wanna edit one of the pages here, I would be able to click any of these and it would open it up and my editing tools would be there but let's add a new page. So as we arrive on this page, we can see that we have the option of adding or entering a title right here. And this title, and I'm gonna do this as a demo new page. Once I do that, it creates what's called a permalink. And this is the URL of the page. It's the address that you will go to when you wanna land on this page. And it automatically creates this based on the title. So if you wanted to edit that or change that, you have the option of clicking the edit button and that would allow you to customize that in whatever way you wanted. So as you're developing your content, you're gonna see the different sections of this page that are important. And I'm gonna break them down for you so you understand what you're looking at. Uh, quite straightforward is this main area where you can begin to style and edit and create your content. So in this white box here is where you'll start typing. And for now, I have some Ipsum Lorem kind of prepared and I'm just pasting in here and I can now begin to play with the layout in whatever way I want. So maybe in fact, I want this first sentence to be a title. I'd be able to separate that, select this, go into my style settings, which is this drop menu here. I can say, I want this to be a primary heading title. It will have styles attributed to it uh, that come from the theme. So even though it might look like this on my page here, if I were to view it on the website, it might look somewhat different. It might have a different font, a different color assigned to it. Maybe in the next paragraph, I have a, a more secondary title. So I would be able to make this, a, say a heading three. And then I could preview this later to see what it looks like. We also have this great tool here that says add media and adding media is where you go into your gallery of images that you want to add to pages. And here you can drop and drag files anywhere into this window and it will upload them. You can also click this, which would allow you to find through your file structure where the file is that you want to upload and you have the option of doing that. So let's say I'm happy with this content and I now want to see what this looks like or maybe I want to save it. This is your publishing panel. The publishing panel is very important because if I try to navigate away from this, I'm gonna click on this button. It's gonna give me a warning saying, are you sure you wanna leave because you haven't saved what you've done? So you wanna to come to this publishing panel to click whatever it is that you want to do with this content and page that you've just created. Let's say I just want a preview. I wanna see what this looks like without it being published to the live website. I just wanna view it. And that's what this preview button does. What it's gonna do is launch another tab so when you arrive on this page, you're gonna be able to see what you did and you're gonna be able to decide, do I like this? Do I not like this? Is there anything that I can do that would improve this? That's what the value of the preview page is. It allows you to make those decisions. Let's say I don't wanna publish this now. I wanna come back to it later. So I have the option of saving this as a draft. And if I click this, I can then navigate away from this page and everything that I've done here will be saved. No one's gonna see it public on the live site. It's just for you as you begin to build this content. So you can come back to it later and finish it up. And if you were happy with it later, you then might want to click this publish button. By publishing it, it is now a page that could be crawled by Google or it could be found on the internet by anybody who's looking through your content. Uh, just because I published it doesn't mean it's going to appear on my menu. Publishing a page just means it's live on the internet. You may need to manually add whatever this page is to your menu. Some other things to note here, right here, it tells you the status of this page. Currently, because I just hit the publish button, it says it's published. If I wanted to change that, I could have the option of bringing it back to a draft setting. So I wanna remove it from the live site, I can hit draft 
and go back into that mode where I can continue working on this page. Pending review, that could go into a state where I'm expecting somebody else to come in, look at this, um, and then approve it, and then it gets published. Uh, you also can look at the visibility, and the visibility can be edited and changed to be a password protected page. If I click that, it's gonna ask me what that password is for this page, and that means only people who you want to have access will have access. So it's a valuable tool depending on the circumstance for this page. Something else to look at is the published on settings, and this tells me that this page was published on March 21st, 2018, but maybe for some reason I want it to be dated for a different publishing time. Uh, something that is also useful is if I were to say today is the 21st, I might say I want to actually have this published on the 25th. So that's four days from now. If I hit OK, it's going to say it is scheduled to be published on this date. So in advance, you can create content that will appear later on the website. So that allows you to work ahead on a certain publishing schedule. Maybe it's something that should appear based on a certain event or something that's happening on a certain date. And this gives you some control. And you can see that now this button has changed to say schedule. And if I click that, it's now going to go into the publishing queue and it will be scheduled to publish on this date. Now it says you're scheduled for March 25th of 2018. If I were to make any change to my, my page, so let's say I want to remove this word right here. If I want that change to take effect, I have to go back to this update button and I have to hit update for that change to take effect. And so that's how you update content after it's already been published. You got to make sure you use this button here. And if at any time I no longer want this page, you of course have this button here that says move to trash. Now that we've published this page and we've done a couple edits or revisions, you can see now that this has appeared and it says revisions. It says there's been two revisions. And if I click on this, it's actually going to bring up this new window that shows me uh, the changes that have taken effect. So you can see this is the original published state and you can see it highlights this particular section of content and this is in red and this is in green and that it, it this is just to show the difference between what was and what is and the change I made if you recall I took a few letters and I removed them and it so now it shows this is the new word that replaced this. Maybe I'm like looking at this and thinking, oh, I made a mistake. I want to go back to this version. I just slide this over and I say, I want to restore this version. So if I hit restore version, it's going to take me back to this page and you're going to see that it restored this text edit that I had previously made. So that can be very valuable. You can go back into this and look at the history of what happened. Those are the, really the primary things. There's some other options that might appear. And again, they might be based on the theme that you have installed. For instance, this sidebar option, this is not something you would see in a standard installation. This is very specific to the theme that I bought. And it allows me to play with the sidebar options or the footer options or the page margin. Every theme is different. They'll add things to this layout that you see here. And that's why you investigate the different themes that you might purchase. Revisions, this is an archive of the revisions that have taken place. So you can have a log of previous edits that were done. It's, it's just useful to know a who was doing edits and when they occurred. Those are the basics of editing a page. So if you're new to WordPress, I hope this is useful to you. So when you go in to create your own content, you'll have an idea of what you're looking at. Thanks so much. Take care.